Hey everyone, welcome back and let's write some more neat code today. So today let's solve the problem. Count of substrings containing every vowel and K consonants. So this is a pretty interesting problem for a medium. I definitely think it's pretty difficult, but there is a trick to this problem. It's actually a very, very simple trick. It comes up decently often. There's a bunch of other problems. I've definitely solved uh, using this trick on this channel before. I don't know if some of you guys can maybe remember any of those problems. If you can, please comment them below. A lot of them definitely fall into this pattern. Uh, just based off the title of this problem, I feel like this one definitely falls into today's uh, category as well. Yeah, this one uh, literally uh, falls into today's. So if you want to find a similar problem, this one and the second solution is the one that's going to be identical pretty much to today's problem. I'll try to cover the intuition of the solution as well. It's going to definitely fall into the sliding window pattern. I'm going to try to explain it to you in a way where you can maybe finish the rest of the solution by yourself. Uh, but first, let's get into the problem and let me tell you why I think it's sliding window. And then let me tell you the trick behind it. And then once you know that, it basically boils down to a textbook sliding window problem. But the idea is that we are given a string. So maybe we're given a string that looks like this. And we are also given a, a integer k. So let's say in this example, k is um, zero. So what we want to do is we want to find all substrings. So I'm going to use the word window for that. We want to find all the windows or continuous substrings such that the window contains every single vowel. So it has to contain at least a single a, at least a single uh, e, a single i, a single o, and a single u. It can have more than one, but it has to have at least one of each of these characters. And that's the easy part. If that was just the whole question, this would be a pretty straightforward sliding window problem. But there's one other catch, and that's the k parameter. For our window, we need there to be exactly k consonants, which basically is characters that are not vowels. So any character that is not a, e, i, o, u, any of those characters, we have to have exactly k total of them. So knowing that, let's try to maybe a brute force this problem and just look at every single possible window, uh, let's say starting from this character. So we get every window. We only care about the windows that have every single vowel. So let's just kind of keep going until we have every vowel. And it takes us until the end of the string because we need A, E, O, and then I, U. So it took us until the end to get there. And in doing that, I see that we counted, this is a vowel, but we counted two characters that are not vowels, but we need exactly zero of them. And so we could keep going, I think, with this example, but I don't think there's actually going to be any valid substrings because if we start from here, it's going to take until the end to get enough vowels, but I think then we don't have the A, so I think this was the only valid string. But uh, anyways, let's change that uh, to be one. With one, I still don't think it's actually possible because this is the only string with all five vowels, and these two are not vowels, and we need exactly one character that is not a vowel. But if we change this to two, then we do have exactly one solution, this entire thing. And then I don't think there's any more, but if we had added characters to the beginning or to the end, I think then we would have additional ones. So I think this would count, this would count, and uh, others would count as well. But anyways, so if we want to try to build up more intuition and see how maybe we could uh, simplify or optimize this brute force solution, we could continue going with a few examples. And I'll kind of do that. But before I do that, I want to mention to you what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you that a basic sliding window approach, which is how we would try to optimize problems like these typically that are counting substrings and things like that, we would want to go for the sliding window. A basic sliding window is not going to work. But in identifying that the sliding window will not work, the basic one, we will maybe be able to figure out a hint at how we could make a solution work and do it efficiently. So that's what I'm going to try to do right now. If we didn't have to worry about the K parameter, the K consonants, then this would be very trivial. It'd be very similar to some of the sliding window problems that we solved uh, recently. So I won't go super in depth into those. 
Um, if you're not familiar, by the way, with the sliding window pattern, there's plenty of resources on Anycode.io for you to learn about this more in depth. But the idea of that solution without the K parameters would just be counting all substrings that have all of the vowels, A, E, I, O, U. So we could do that from every single character. So starting from here, we'd keep going until we have all of the vowels in our window. And then we'd say, okay, well, this was the minimum window for us starting from here that it took for us to get all of the vowels and thus first to count all the additional substrings starting from here, we can just take the length from here until the end of the string. Because we know if this is valid, we're only adding characters to it. So that's also going to be valid. And so that works with this if we don't have to worry about the Ks. It would also actually work for us if instead of worrying about exactly K constants, they told us we need at least K constants in the string, then it would also work. This basic sliding window solution would work if instead of doing exactly K, we were looking for at least K, because then what we know is as soon as we find a valid window, okay, this window is valid. It had all five vowels and maybe it had at least K consonants. Then we know all of the other following windows are also going to be valid. So we can count them the exact same way. Just take however many characters are left over and that's how many substrings we can get starting from here. And then after that, we would do our basic sliding window shift. We would then remove this character and then check, okay, is our window still valid? Do we still have at least five of the vowels, all five of them? And do we have at least K consonants? If we do, then we once again say, okay, this window is valid. And also however many characters are left over, that's how many windows we can also add. And we kind of just keep doing that. So that's like the sliding window part of this problem. And it would work until our window is no longer valid. Either we don't have all five vowels, or at this point we don't have at least K consonants. That's fine. Then we would start expanding our window until we had the vowels and we had the consonants. So this solution will be a solid linear time solution if instead of trying to get exactly K consonants, we were trying to get at least K consonants. So I cannot solve the problem here, but I can solve a slightly different version of that problem. Is there any way we can use the solution to this problem to solve this problem that we're trying to do? And the answer is yes, and it's very simple. It's a very simple trick if you've seen it before. It's very simple. If you haven't, it's kind of difficult to just come up with like on the spot. So I'll mention it to you right now. I don't know the best way to visualize this, but I guess I'll use a number line. So the idea is this, we are trying to do exactly K, like the strings that have exactly K consonants and have all the vowels, but we don't know how to code that up, but we did find a way to do at least K. So instead of having exactly K, we can do at least K. So if we pass K in to that at least K function, we can get everything that's from here and to the right of that. And it just kind of keeps going from here. And we know it's not going to be like infinitely large because this string is going to be the upper limit to what this is, uh, but we can do that. And then, so then we can actually pass in K plus one into the same function, which will give us this. And I think this probably isn't the best way to visualize this. Uh, so sorry about that, but that will do something like this. So just conceptually, this is all the substrings that have all five vowels and at least K or more consonants. And this is all the strings, the number of all strings that have all vowels with K plus one or more consonants. So if we take the difference between those two numbers, we should get K. So I think we're pretty much ready to get into the code. I'll try to do a bit of dry run as we do this, but mainly this is the setup. We're gonna have our function. I'm gonna call it at least K. It's gonna take in the parameter K and it's gonna return the total number of substrings that have all the vowels and at least K consonants. And this is how it's going to be called. We're gonna call at least K first on K itself, all the substrings that have at least K consonants and remove from that K plus one because it, it will be all the substrings that have at least K plus one or more consonants. And thus we will be left over with the strings that have exactly K consonants. So by doing this calculation, we will solve the problem in a much easier way. So now it's just about filling in this function, which is mostly straightforward sliding window stuff. I mean, I'm not saying it's easy, but if you've done other similar sliding window problems, this part 
isn't super crazy. We're going to have our vowel hash map. This is going to count the occurrences of every single vowel. And I'm going to make it a default dictionary in Python. This makes things pretty easy. If you're not familiar with that, you can consider checking out the Python for Coding Interviews course on Neat Code. Um, so, so we'll use that to keep the track of every single vowel and we'll have a single variable for non-vowel count and we will just make sure that this is greater than or equal to k before we update our result. This result will keep track of the count of substrings with at least k uh, consonants and then we'll have our sliding window, our two pointer, left is going to be equal to zero, right is going to go through the entire input string like this. And there's probably easier ways to implement this, but I'm just going to do it like this. If the character at index right is a vowel, we could do a hash set lookup, but doing a string lookup is honestly probably just as efficient. It's just five characters anyway, so we can just do something like this. If it's a vowel, um, we're going to increment the count of it otherwise we will increment the count of the non vowels and then um, for us to update the result we want to make sure that the length of the vowel hash map is exactly equal to five we have all five vowels in there and the count of non vowels is greater than or equal to k if that's the case then we want to update our result we want to add to the result the distance between the right pointer and the end of the string. So basically how many strings we can get um, starting from the wherever the current left pointer is going until the end of the string, that many substrings, we will get that by taking the length of the word subtracted from the right pointer. And that should be the distance. We add that to the result and then we update the pointers. Uh, before we do that, before we increment the left pointer, we want to check is the character a vowel or is it a non-vowel? So is word at index 11 in a e i o u or is it not because we will handle that slightly differently in this case we will take that character and decrement the count of it otherwise we will decrement the count of non vowel the last thing to do is since we are using the length of the vowel to check if we have all of the vowels available to us anytime that hash map reaches zero like if the count of any character word at index l is equal to zero then we can remove that from our hash map so like this and that so i know we didn't do too much of a dry run i guess but in general i think some of the drawing we did earlier mostly goes over this i didn't like explicitly go over exactly how the hash map is being used and how the how the non-vowel count is being used here uh, but I think there's many different ways to implement this. And of course, I had a typo. I used, the, I called the uh, cache map count instead of vowel. So uh, I'm really sorry about that. I'm just going to go through all of these and update it to vowel. So boom, boom, boom. I think that's everything. And uh, did not spell out the entire function call for the second one. I forgot the K. So let me add that. And we also forgot to actually return the results from this function. So had a lot of silly mistakes. But with all of those out of the way, you can see that the solution does work and it is pretty efficient. If you're looking for a similar problem, highly recommend checking out uh, this one, subarrays with K different integers, almost the exact same problem. I think my video solution covers a different solution than today's solution, but that just kind of shows you that these types of problems have so many different types of solutions. So if you want to learn more about those and you want to see them in different languages, check out the link uh, below.